YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So I want to talk to you all today about environment and why being in a good environment matters and is important. So I love using myself as an example. I mean, I say it a lot. I don't know how many times I got to tell you all, especially with this topic, because I identified that that was my family problem was foundation and environment is what made it what it was. Right. So growing up for me and this goes to number one because or goes into number one, because number one is mental and emotional well-being that matters. Right. So growing up for me, I felt like I didn't get a lot of them things, which is why I struggled in elementary, middle school and high school and somewhat of adulthood. Right. I didn't have that emotional support or reassurance from my parents at all, <laughs> literally. But I'm also grateful and thankful that I didn't because I don't think I would be this individual that I am today if I received some of them things. So it's like kind of a good and bad thing. But going back to it, I'm going to go down. I'm going to break down all of it. So as parents, man and woman, when you have a kid or you start having kids, you got to lay down a foundation whenever you have kids on how things are going to be ran. Because raising kids is basically like a system, right? The more kids you have, the, the better your system got to be. You don't want to create a dysfunctional fa family, you know. If you just start having kids, and a lot of people get this twisted and messed up, just because you take care of your kids, you feed them, put clothes on their back, and give them somewhere to sleep, that's not raising a kid or kids. Let's get that straight. Raising a kid is being there for them emotionally and mentally, physically as well, showing up to their games and stuff like that, right? My parents got that, like, messed up a little bit. They think just because they raised us physically as far as, like, taking care of us that that was raising us right and that wasn't <laughs> at all mental and emotional stability is what makes and stabilizes a person or human being period that's that's important so you having a system once you ha start having kids it helps out because your kids don't tell you everything i was dealing with stuff when i was in school y'all and I, I didn't tell my parents everything that i was dealing with and the reason why is because every time I told told them, it got brushed off where they really didn't care about it. They didn't care about grades. They didn't care about my sports, none of that. So after a while, if you neglect a child in an area where you the person they want the most validation from, after a while, they, the kid going to be like, okay, what's the point of telling them they're not going to care? You know, they don't know no better. I didn't know no better when I was growing up. So being there mentally and emotionally for your child is big. From the time that they a baby up until teenage years, you need to be in their ear about stuff. Letting them know, hey, I'm here for you. I love you. No matter what you done done, good or bad, I love you no matter what. You need to put that in their ear from day one. Because neglecting that makes a person nonchalant or not want to. Like reach out to people for certain things or talk about certain things. That's why some kids feel uncomfortable talking to like adults or, you know, their parents because they de they didn't develop and they had like, man, this person don't even care. So what's the point of telling them? Mental and emotional stability is important. And it's not just f like with childhood. The reason I wanted to talk about childhood, childhood is because I wanted to inform people on this because it's not talked about that's why i'm here like let's talk about it. <laughs> it, it, it it's important and it's a necessity because we got a lot of young people out here that 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 they get the wrong idea of how stuff's supposed to be if you compared a normal child versus me when i was a child growing up certain things that child did i would find like weird and certain things i did with that other child would find weird to me right because of an offset. And I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing. Because like I said, my situation was I grew up in a environment. Environmental wise, as far as like having somebody in my ear. Being there for me physically. You know, having someone I can talk to about problems. I didn't have that, which was bad, right? And the reason it's good for me now is because it made me want to be an outstanding in individual. And improve all areas of my life because I didn't get a whole lot of that growing up. 
So mentally and emotionally, it's important to be there for your kids. Now I want to talk about like the adulthood of it and why being in a good environment is important. Because we tend, as adults, and the, like I said, the reason I talked about childhood is because that's the foundation. Like that was my foundation and now I grew up into this. But as an adult, how you grow how you grow up and the people you're around, you're going to kind of like duplicate, reduplicate that once you become an adult. Right. That's kind of what I did. I stayed around like that small circle, uh, bad, toxic environment. I had friends that we really never dove into our emotions or like was there for each other. Right. And kind of as a man, that's just a harsh reality, which is perfectly fine. But I think it was certain things we could have talked about or or said that if the conversation did come up, it would have been beneficial. And maybe we would have had clarity on our situations and our environment and communities on why it's like this, specifically in a black community. Right. Um, Majority of black men put their feelings to the side and try to hide them because they they don't want to show emotion. It, It makes it makes them think that that's weakness. Which to a certain extent it is, but I don't know. Being vulnerable as well is important. So I didn't see both sides of this. But the 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 toxic the toxic bad part of being in a bad environment, like like I say, you're gonna kinda resemble what you grew up in. I like I start seeing this shit like once I got older. I'm like, hell no. I'm like, damn, we talk about different topics. I noticed they didn't want to engage on some of the stuff that I was interested in. For example, y'all like, like I'm interested in a lot of important things, community, business, finances, why the world work the way it do. Like I didn't have people to talk, excuse me. I didn't have people to talk about that stuff with at all. So after a while, it just became like a continuous thing and it got boring because I didn't see no growth in that. Like, imagine not having friends where you can go to emotionally and open up and talk to about different things. It ain't even got to be with relationships or family. It can be, like, within the world. Not having nobody to talk to about them things and you, quote, unquote, friends with people, it make you think, man, what's the point of being friends with this person? We don't benefit off each other because at the end of the day, that's what friendship is. People only make friends with people they can they they see themselves as or like similar to or people they can benefit off of. You're not finna make friends with a stranger if he don't ha- he or she don't add no value in your life. Let's just call a spade a spade. That's the truth. So emotionally and and mentally, you kind of want to be in them environments where feelings get talked about, and you can kind of like open up to your community and environment, and you won't get judged for it or made fun of. Because if I talked about certain things. And I was like, oh, man, I'm in my feelings about this or I'm messed up about this. I'm going to get laughed at or it's going to get brushed off. They're going to be, oh, well, yeah, that's life. That's it. Instead of going into a deep dive and talking about it. And that plays a lot with success as well. You know, I learned bottling shit up is not it. You kind of want to let it out. Or if you don't want to do it with friends, family or whatever, do it with God. Talk to the higher power. Tell him what's going on. He ain't, he might not speak to you where you can hear it, but you'll feel something in here where you like, okay, he giving me feedback on what I need to do in a certain situation. That's that's kind of what I did. Like, man, I ain't got nobody else to talk to. I'll talk to God. It's the only person I have at the end of the day. So emotionally and mentally, you want to get in a good environment to better your foundation as far as like going into adulthood know what i mean like you have to be cut from a different cloth to understand how things work and you got to be a certain individual individual to do that everybody can't do that i was able to make it happen i don't dive into my past unless i want to educate people on what it is that i noticed because if i really wanted to i can get on here and i can rant about what all I went through as a kid. And it wasn't nothing bad, just to let y'all know. It was just, I'm talking about like emotional and mental neglect, not having nobody to lean on as a kid. You know, the importance of all of that. I didn't have none of that. So that's why I'm talking about 
emotional and mental health. Like that's important. And I'm not saying it on no weak stuff. I'm just saying if you have somebody you can talk to that deeply cared about you, a group of friends or family, whatever, man, that kind of like shapes and mold your mental and emo and emotional as well. Like you like, damn, I can open up without being judged. It feels good. It really do. Like try it. If you're in a bad environment where people want to make fun of you for your situation or something happened and they laughing or they don't care about it, that's your sign right there. I'm telling you right now, get the fuck away from that environment or away from that situation immediately. Cut your losses short. It could be a friendship, a relationship, a family member. Cut it short. You know, enough is enough. Cut it short and, and, and go seek for more. But while you seek for more, take that time to be by yourself. Take that time to be by yourself. That's important. So number one, emotional and mental well-being is why being in a good environment matters. Number two on why being in a good environment matters for personal growth and development. The most important thing, two, the most two important things, personal growth and development is major. And it starts with the toddler stage. Like I told you, I'm trying to balance it out between the kid aspect and the adult aspect. For children, personal growth and development matters because it shapes and molds you on an aspect of what to expect out of the young man or young lady. For example, if you got somebody that's not teaching you how to be a young man and or a young lady and be respectable and have manners and stuff like that, they just gonna go around doing whatever. Like I done seen this multiple on multiple occasions as far as like the parent letting the child do whatever that they wanna do. Versus a, a, a family that have structure and, and, and show and teach their kids different things. Because that's where it starts. If you as a kid do whatever it is that you want to do. You cuss people out. You be, you know bully people at school. And, and, and you don't care about sports. You, you know, you've been class clown. You kind of going to take that into adulthood. Because ain't nobody going to teach you that. Like, for the people that let their kids do whatever it is that they want to do, that is facts. Like, it, once a child passes a certain age, it's pretty much nothing you can do. That's why you'll see on TV all these parents will be like, I just don't know. He, he or she just don't want to listen. I keep telling them what's going to happen. But it, it led to that point because there was no development, no growth, like no showing or teaching them nothing. Which is why I said they carry it into adulthood. But you can't thrive and grow in a bad environment. It's just, it's, it's no such thing. Like, don't get me wrong. It's this quote that says, a flower can go grow through concrete, which is very true. That's why I said it's kind of like a good and bad thing to talk about this stuff. But it's very rare. You typically going to get the norm when it comes to people through their childhood, just doing whatever they want, going into adulthood. And it, it also lowers the success rate versus a person that had some type of stability, emotional stability, uh, showings and teaching and development. It, it, it's, it's not. And for the adulthood aspect, you know, if I'm in an environment, and I, and I was kind of in a, an environment similar to this, which I didn't really have ever really a lot of friends, but, like, every time we hung out or did anything, it was nothing, like, with that. It was more of just like, hey, man, these two days we off, let's go do this or let's go do that. It was never saying, hey, man, we didn't, we lacking some stuff financially. Let's go learn. That fall under personal growth. Like, you know what, I didn't, I didn't get this or, like, I struggled with this in school, so let's go learn these new different things. Or, hey, we... We need to start getting in shape and eating better foods. That also fall under personal growth and development as well. Like it was never none of that. It was more of talking about different people and different things. I was always the one to act on it. Always. Other people just sat around and talked, which is why it's considered a bad environment because there's no room for personal growth and development. I didn't have no people in my life at the time that's saying, hey, man, we out of shape. Let's go hit the gym. Or, hey, man, 
we need to start learning the world for what it is instead of just going with the flow, following in that work cycle, the nine to five, having two days off. Next thing you know, you're 40 years old, been at this company for X amount of years, and you're like, damn, I, I really wasted all that time on nothing. You don't want to be in them environments where they make you feel like since you don't want to go out or you don't want to seek pleasure as far as going, doing whatever, doing some dumb stuff, going out to clubs, bars, uh, doing stuff you ain't got no business doing, talking to people you ain't got no business talking to. If you're in them environments where they make you feel like shit or they talk about you because you don't want to do them things, you need to leave immediately. This is your sign right now. Leave that group, leave that environment immediately. No longer waste your time. Don't. Don't get away ASAP. Because I dealt with that. Like, I knew, and it's always like a gut feeling. Your gut feeling always going to be right, y'all. I knew, I'm like, I knew these people probably not, I'm not going to be long term with these people. You know, every relationship or friendship run its course. I do believe that. You outgrow people. Everybody don't understand the this narrative of, man, you know what? Life is this way. I want to change it. Some people just accept life the way it is, and they stick to the norm. If you don't want to be that person, don't be that person. But if your environment is people that's that way, cut them off. Be by yourself. Isolate yourself. You might need that in order to get to the next level. And then eventually, just like a flower, you will sprout and grow and go find other people that's on the same thing as you. You don't have to sit there and accept that and continue to be planted or continue to be planted or be in that bad environment or that bad soil, speaking in flower term, right? So personal development and growth is why being in a good environment matters because you're not going to be able to grow. You're not going to develop nothing new being in a bad environment. You're probably going to get judged for it judge for it or you probably gonna get judged for trying to better yourself so get out that environment and for the kid going back to the kid aspect pretty much a kid is kind of it's nothing they can really do it ain't like they can just move out go get their own crib get a job you know it's kind of something they just gotta go through and then once they get older if they was able to be that flower that came through concrete once they get older just like damn i went through all of that shit and now I'm here and then like identify on why they went through that kind of like analyze their situation at the time. Like that's the only way they can get like some clarity on that. But a child ain't pretty much nothing they can do. But if you're an adult and you in an environment that, that don't allow you to grow mentally, physically, personal growth and develop new things, man, go immediately. <laughs> don't waste no more time. And last but not least, I got to get my notebook out for this third one. Is productivity and success. Ooh, that's that kind of fall with number two. But productivity is important because if you're in a bad environment as an adult and that bad environment wants you to go do stuff you know you shouldn't be doing or hanging around people you know you shouldn't or just wasting time, you know, like that's big. I'm just label it as that wasting time. Like, like I said, you, you don't belong there. The, the, the productivity falls with whatever it is that you want out of life. So if I want to be, let's just say, an architect, I want to build houses, right? Don't, I'm not going to go be around people that's cool working at, a fast food restaurant or store or a warehouse because now we ain't on the same level. They content with something like that. Like people, usually people that stop their education, they don't know what they've done to themselves as far as like when it comes to the real world. Like once you stop learning, that shortens your ability to go out here and earn more. Once you stop learning, you stop earning. Always remember that. And that falls with productivity to me because it's only so much you can do especially if you live in that rat race of the nine to five job no matter whatever your job is productivity matters for example i was after once out when i was driving trucks i was working 14 16 hours a day and once i got off i hit the gym 
and I worked on my side hustles. I didn't go, oh, let me go have a beer at a bar and talk to people or just stuff like that. That's something I didn't engage in. I was by myself at the time, so I just accepted it. I'm like, man, maybe this is my life for a couple of years. It'll all pay off. I didn't go, fuck, my friend hit me up. Let me go to the bar with him or let me go to the club or let me go uh, 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 meet up with this person or talk to loads of women or whatever. I didn't do none of that. Because I knew my energy and and where I put my focus on matter, the product, the productivity part of it, that matters, you know. So I had kept what I wanted to do and how I seen different things at a minimum, as far as like the bad things to do, which is like, I mean, it's really just going out, wasting time, you know, whether it's going out to a bar club or just doing drugs or whatever, that's just something I didn't want to engage in at all. I knew that that had no benefit for what it is that I was trying to do. And success-wise, why I think being in a good environment matters is because if you have five people like me, and it's the sixth person that's trying to be successful, and then you had another group, let's just say that one person is in the middle, this is my group, my group of five, and a group of five that didn't do nothing productive. They always went out, wasted time, talked about people, and had no more morality or no principles and set. It was no, no foundation. What group you think that person gonna have a higher success rate in? The group to the left or my group to the right? Obviously my group to the right because we doing things that actually matter. We working out, we educating ourselves, we eating the right foods hanging around the right people, wanting more out of life, not just being content and accepting things for the way they are. You know, we're not doing the, the, the bad stuff that's not going to get us nowhere in life. That That's why, why it matters. And I'm not saying, like, you have to be in a positive group. That's why I said it's pros and cons that come with being in a good and bad environment. It's pros and cons because some good people come from bad environments. Just because you come from a good environment don't mean you're going to turn out good. That's the, It's like a effect like that. <laughs> it's crazy. You can have everything growing up as a kid. And then once you hit adulthood, ruin it. Get on drugs, hang around the wrong people. You can come from a bad environment. And it can be worse than mine. Not having food, not having clean clothes every day, holes in your clothes been neglected and then you get older and you just like man I, that was like the worst childhood ever when i have kids i wouldn't want them to live the way i lived when i was growing up or you see people out here in the public and you feel you might have some empathy for them like the homeless people and and, and the people that's not doing so well in life so it's pros and cons that come with this but those three things is why being in a good environment matters it's the foundation. Foundation to a person's success is everything. You can have a good foundation and you can have a bad bad foundation. But the foundation is going to be the structure. If you build a house without pouring concrete first, eventually that house going to collapse. <laughs> so take those things in consideration and apply those to your life. Cut off the bad people. Get out the bad groups. It's time. We in 2024. Finna be in 2025. It's time to own up and take responsibility for our life and our situation. It's time to do the right thing. It's time to be the best version of yourself. It's no longer waiting and sitting around waiting for some magical to happen and accepting your situation and your reality. You can change it. And I'm I'm an advocate for that. I'm always push y'all to be the best versions of y'all self. But that'll be the video for today. If y'all have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Also, before I go, make sure y'all check out my community on Discord, Hustle Wise. I'm building a community where I, I, I got like a group of people and we just holding each other accountable for everything that we said we wanted to do and, and, and the habits and being around the right people. That, that's why I created this community, Hustle Wise. Also, y'all can follow me on my two TikTok accounts. One is TJack, 
and then the other one is Real T Jack. I post on both of them. I just started. Like a lot of the stuff that I'm doing now, y'all, I used to not want to do. I used to be insecure, low self esteem person, thinking like if my video didn't hit a million views in one day, that people was making fun of me or they didn't care about me. I just now overcame that, literally, and I'm 25. So, yeah, follow me on TikTok, Real T Jack and T Jack. I'm posting what I eat, like the healthy foods I eat. I'm posting different workout vlogs. And I'm also educating y'all on finances as well. So I'm, like I said, my page and my channel is just fitness and finance. That's it. But thank y'all for tuning in today. I'll catch y'all next video.